Hello everyone, welcome back to Trails in the Sky. <clears throat> so last episode we meet up with a new character in here. Her name is Tita. She's so adorable. Look at her. Tita Russell. <clears throat> I'm sure what R means for the uh, Professor R means gonna be for later. Anyway, here we are in Zeiss. Uh, the home of Tita. I think now we just gotta... Where are we going again? Fuck. <clears throat> That's Ruan. What? Oh, Black Orphan Moan. Alright, right. The door is locked. Is it locked with simple lock? I mean, you can just always pick lock this. Lock pick this. Uh, sorry, it's too early for this. <laughs> hmm? Okay, what's this room? This is the elevator. <laughs> it can take us from the basement to the roof. Hmm, can't say I ever seen one of these outside of the mines. <laughs> and this one seems super high tech. <clears throat> well, this is Zeiss. And since this is the central factory, I'm sure they have quite a few of these. They have more than one? <laughs> it's the latest model too. Maximum weight capacity is 50 torum. And how much is that in pounds? <laughs> it can handle ev even heavy industrial equipment with no problem. I don't entirely get it, but it's not an issue, so I'm impressed. <laughs> so how do we get it to move? Oh, you just pick which floor you want on that panel let's see you want to go to the city right yes can you take us up to the first floor okay oh so cute whoa <laughs> oh my god you are a country bumpkin are you <laughs> whoa check out the size of this place this is the central factory's main floor it's where the reception desk and consumer maintenance windows are. I see, so we can get out to town from here. Oh, Tita, Hazel. Miss Hazel, there you are. Supervisor Travis has been looking for you. He'd like for you to go straight to the operations room. Oh, okay, I will. Uh-oh, sounds urgent. Thank you for showing us around. It's no big deal. It's the least I can do after you beat up those monsters for me. Oh, Well, we're well. We're planning to be in Zeiss for a little while. Would you mind if we stop by to see you again? I, I love that. Bye bye, Dan. Ah. <laughs> what a sweet kid. I get the impression that she's a lot tougher than she looks. I mean, she carries a fucking cannon, not to mention two guns. <laughs> she is trapped. <laughs> I agree. I always wanted a sweet, lovable little sister like her. Instead of, might I add, an obnoxious little brother. <laughs> you keep saying things like that, but you're the one who's always following me around. If you want to be more like a real older sister, you need to get your head out of the clouds every now and then. <laughs> Look who's talking. Anyway, all siblings rivalries aside, want to head into the city? Yeah, first I like to switch assignment, assignments to the guild, at the guild. Plus we can see if there's any new information on the orbman or dad. Sounds like a plan. Whoa, what's this? It's escalator. <laughs> yep. This is like the futuristic town, I guess. Some kind of moving staircase. Is It, it is re a really long climb, so I guess it would be tough without it. Yeah, but to have the whole thing moving underneath you? This place has been full of surprises ever since we got here. <laughs> no kidding. I mean, it's good that you know, you, you're going out to see the world. Alright, you only sell ingredients. Now. Whatever that is. <sighs> right, I'm buying this. What is it? Oh. 
Yeah, hang on. Can I I think there's another store, right? Hang on, let's play around like a children. Yes. This is how I do it when I was a kid. Instead of going it when the uh, the uh, escalator going up, uh, I, I chose to go down <laughs> because I was a dumbass kid. <laughs> uh, now look at me, I'm old, I'm hurt, and I work with fucking children. <laughs> All right, so that's the Bracer Guild. Stain arms and guards. How much a weapon? Fuck me, 7,000. I mean, it'll be good. This is for Tita for later. I mean, we're gonna be doing the, the quests, the jobs first before we move on to the story. So, might as well get this first. No, the 10, 11, 12, 13. Okay. 15,000 now. I think. I might be wrong on my math here. I'm, I apologize. Yeah, it does a lot of damage. Look at that. We need that. So this is the bread store, the general goods. Yo. Oh sweet, they sell more tiara here. That's a lot of money though. Didi, who are you guys? Pirates or ninjas? <laughs> oh, the children. Monica, what do I do? My father told me to go buy bread. All oh, this bread looks the same. Which one do I choose? Well, tell your dad to go out and get some more bread then. The balance is all off again. Knowles. Oh my god, it's Beyonce's kid. <laughs> Maybe if I move that candle left a little more. Oh, this. Oh, so cute. Where's the Orpman store? This is it. This is the bar. Rotini pasta. Sure, I'll buy one. And then later on, we can make one ourselves. Seasonal tart. Sounds good. All these foods. Horses. Fine, we'll go to the FC. Uh, the, uh, I almost called it FC. <laughs> With her, oh my god, yes. I love this girl. This is the best girl in this game. Hi there. Pardon us. Eastern woman. Um, see, we're finally here, I see. Estelle Joshua. Welcome to Zeiss. Huh? You know us? I've already been brief of your arrival from one Jean, the Ruins branch. A girl with chestnut hair, tied with twin ponytail tied in twin ponytails, and a boy with black hair and amber eyes. That is you, is it not? I okay. 
<clears throat> My name is Kilika. Yeah! Kilika! Zeiss, welcome your service. She will be around in the series and also in Zero and Azure. You'll see that. Well, I, I don't know if she will be in Zero. I think she will be only in Z Azure. Yeah. I haven't played that, those two games in a while, so I don't remember. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Oh, uh, same here. The play, the pleasure is ours. I know you've only just arrived, but I like to proceed the formalities of changing your affiliation. If you just sign these documents, okay, that should do it. You are both now affiliates of the Zeiss Regional Guild. There are no urgent matters, but that must be that must be seen to currently. You're free to check the bulletin board and work at your own pace. That's kind of disappointing, but hey, a little peace and quiet can be a good thing. Alright, I had a question to ask about Cassius, correct? She can read minds! Did Jean tell you about him too? The whole sordid ma- the whole sordid matter. I'm sorry to have to say that Cassius is not currently in the re Z's re Zeiss region. He only stops in every few months or so. S uh, figures. That just leaves Gransel, or maybe. I believe I might be able to provide you with a lead in another matter. Please take this. The factory chief. What's this? It is a letter of introduction to the head of the central factory, one Mr. Murdoch. He is basically the, like the mayor of the Zeiss region. Is this in regards to the matter of the Black Horseman? The stories of the mayor's residence painted as a very mysterious item. I suggest that you consult with the factory chief and see what he has to say. Wow, you really got this all planned out. Do you have some kind of super power, Kilika? My business is to provide support for bracers such as yourselves. I simply decipher the intelligence that's provided and pass it on as the mandates of my job require. Wow. We really appreciate your assistance. Think nothing of it. I trust that you will return to assist us should a ma major incident occur. <laughs> you can count on us when the time comes. Well, do you want to go and go ahead and see the factory chief? Sounds good to me. Hell no. I got some job to do. Temp librarian and a trap plane monster. Hmm. Maybe I should wait until I get I get Tita to join me again to attack that monster. All right, let me go and save. Cool. All right, so we gotta go back to the factory. Oh, this is where you. Oh my god, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I have two of those, huh? Oh, I have heal. Oh, yeah. Right now, I have Earth Wall thanks to this. But if I put Heal up on the Haze, I would get Tiara, Tiara, La Tiara, Telus. My, uh. Fuck! I definitely need a healer. Maybe Tida will be my, uh. Buff and Debuff guy. I mean, we will get Agit back later, but he's not really good at magic, so... And we won't be get getting Chloe until Grand Soul. This sucks. Alright, we'll figure it out later.
Hang on. You have action. You have EP cut too. Shui. And we can buy two of them. This is perfect. Chaos brand. Oh sweet, we got a clock up X. Whatever happens, I don't want to get rid of the uh... Hmm, maybe I should get this. I think I already have one, right? sure I don't get rid of fucking white Gehenna Oh, there's EP3. Ah, oh, man. Alright, I'll figure something out later. Oh, you were the ones with Ida before, no? Welcome to the Central Factory, can I help you? We are from the Bracer Guild. We like to meet with the factory head, if we may. I see, just a moment, please. Hazel used the intercom. Sir, I'm ter terribly sorry to bother you during your... Yes, yes sir, the people from the Bracer Guild are... Yes sir, right away. <clears throat> Thank you for waiting. Factory Chief Murdoch will see you now. His office is upstairs on the second floor. Nice, I didn't think I, he, he see us so quickly. Let's not keep him waiting. Um, excuse me, we saw your request on the bulletin board. Oh, you oh my, you're here already. I only just put in the request a little while ago, Constance. Hehe. <laughs> well, we had just come in to change assignments, so we were ready for work. Well, shall we get started then? Yes, that's fine. This is about the hiring the temp librarian, right? Yes, that's right. I, it's turned out to be much more of an ordeal than expected. What kind of ordeal? I'll explain that in a moment. Beforehand though, I, I have a matter to, that I would like you to help settle. Consider it a favor if you will. What kind of matter are you referring to? The archives loaned, us, uh, loaned out some books to various central factory departments. Sometimes they keep them past the due date and don't pay the fees. First I'd like you to get our, our books back. What? That's simple. Where do we need to go then? Let's see. It should be in the third floor design room and the fourth floor lab and clinic. Third floor design room and fourth floor lab and clinic. Got it. Is that everything? Yes. Please come back once you have them. Okay, we will. We'll start immediately. Let me go and save. Alright, cool. Alright. So... Let's do this one first before we move on to the story. <laughs> Dun 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 dun. Okay, this is the design room. Igor. Hmm. Oh, there you go. 
Septium Optic Annals. What? Alright, cool. Let's go to the clinic room. Hmm. Oh, I see it. Kitty talk for dummies? <laughs> hmm. Oh, I see it. There you go. Alright, I think you get a recipe from this book. Yeah, there you go. Are you done? Uh -huh. We brought them for you. Good, now we have all of the books again. I thank you for your assistance. <laughs> it was no big deal. We didn't have any issues. That's good to hear. In that case, perhaps I should go ahead and ask you for help with my favorite type of work. Oh, that's right. You mentioned having some significant problems somewhere along the line. So what kind of work is it? Just like before, we need some overdue materials returned. The book in question is called Herb Woodpecker. <laughs> we'll make a note of that. Right, Herb Woodpecker. So it's a book on birds, right? So do you have any clues for us? Yes, as a matter of fact, take a look at this. Approach the man of standing in silence within the mountain village pond and you shall receive. Okay, I wrote that down, but what the heck is it? It was written on a card that was taken from the book. I imagine it's that it's some kind of hint as to where it, it's whereabouts. A hint of bad poetry, maybe. So it was only borrowed because someone with way too much time on their hands wanted to hide it somewhere? Evidently so. It's the sort of trick that researchers used to play on each other long ago. I have no idea what would possess someone to hide a book of all things. But we certainly have our fair and share a fair share of unusual characters. It's not surprising that any of the any of them might follow such bizarre custom. Anyway, I leave the matter this matter in your hand, capable hands. Please bring the book back. Hey, hold on a second. Is this the only leave we have? I'm afraid so. But the guild sent you, so I have every confidence in your ability. Ah, <sighs> well, that's just awesome. Understood. It will be difficult work but we we will do all we can you may have to search every nook and cranny in his eyes but i'm sure you'll find it i'll be waiting here when you when you do find it please bring it back to me uh, let's get this show on the road then <laughs> i look forward to seeing you again i'm guessing you're the fucking phantom thief here <laughs> so we get the plus there you go this next job entails a bug we're looking for it's herb woodpecker this is our hand. Approach the man of a stone standing in silence within the mountain village. That's gonna be another area of the, not in Zai's. <laughs> well, I mean in Zai's region, yes, sure. I'm gonna save. Cool. Alright, let's go meet up with Murdoch. Oh, fuck you. Hey, I've been waiting for you two. Estelle and Joshua, right? Uh, yes, it's nice to meet you, sir. We're sorry to bother you at work, at work like this. No, don't worry yourselves I, about that. The Bracer Guild and Cassius in particular have done a great deal of for me in the past. It would be rude of me not to welcome his children. Huh, you know that? I guess you might say that. He was my benefactor. It's no, ex it's no exaggeration to say that the central factory produces the finest orphans in the land. Naturally, the confrontations over our craft have never really stopped. Whenever we had a problem, we always contact the Roland branch and have him come over. I see. <laughs> that explains all the business trips then. And now my benefactor's kids come to visit me themselves. <laughs> so what can I do for you? I'm happy to help. And thanks, sir. It's kind of a long story. I see, well then. Would you mind if I had a look at this orpman? 
Sure, no problem. Estelle produce. Yeah, yeah. Hmm, now this certainly is an oddity. It's obviously made from modern materials, but the caliber isn't inscribed anywhere. Caliber? You mean the numbers that are carved into the Orpman frame? Exactly. It's almost un unheard of for an Orpman to, to be produced without them. That's not just in liberal either. Most other nations on the continent are the same way. It's been a tradition of dating back to when the Orpman was were first invented 50 years ago. Huh, you don't say. You're right. There are numbers right there. Crazy. You mean to say that you never noticed in all this time? <laughs> oh, you. Hush. But seriously, is it really that strange for one to have no caliber on it? It's pretty much a part of the production process, and that goes for any or both factory. It's as if this one were a prototype or something. It's If so, I imagine it, it wasn't made to entertain at birthday parties, if you take my meaning. So let's with the sweet, with the sweet and awesome more, more with the stabby and hurdy, got it. <laughs> of course, I can't say for certain without looking inside. <laughs> what is it? Bah, I can't find a maintenance cover. And now that I really look at it, it has no seams to it at all. How the hell was this thing was made? I don't see any way to check out the inside of it. Aw oh, man, would it be possible to cut it open? That might work, yes. But I hate to just break something belonging to Cassius all like that. Oh, okay. Maybe we should let that professor handle it. Oh right, the one mentioned in the note. Yeah, he should be able to tell us something. Huh? There was a note that, I, that was included with the Orpman. Please ask Professor R to do an analysis. You wouldn't happen to know who this Professor R is, would you? Well, let me think. From the letter R and the people that cast his name, it must be Professor Russell. Yep. I thought so. Well, who's Professor Russell? And wait a second, how did you know this guy? <laughs> I don't, I don't, but I know of him. He's known as the person who brought orbital technology to, to, to Liberal in the first place. Hey, you know your stuff. Uh, as I'm sure you know, Orp Orpmans were invented by Professor Abstein. Abstein. <laughs> yes, he has an island full of them. <laughs> and maybe more stuff. <laughs> and Professor Russell was one of his disciples. For 40 years ago, he brought the Orpmans and his knowledge back, and that, that's why Liberal is technologically advanced nation. Really? You might say that he was the father of, an, of the uh, Orbal, Orbal Revolution. Wow, now that is impressive. Man, I had no idea that Dad no, knew anyone like that. Even so, it worries me a little that you'll be letting the old pro uh, handle this Orpman. <laughs> We have no idea what it, what it is, really. Huh? Well, how to put this? For good old or ill, he's certified genius. When he gets an idea for a new invention in his head, there's just, not, there's just no telling what he'll do. Much like the time when he was developing the first orbital airship. Uh, uh, what's with the far off look? I guess that's a, that a lot had happened. Ahem, <laughs> sorry. I'm sure that he'll be able to figure this thing out. Go find him and ask him about it. It can't hurt. Thanks, Chief. Where should we go find him? Hmm, hold on a moment. Testing, testing. Ah, oh, good. Actually, I've been looking for you. Sorry to bother you, but can you come here? Alright, I'll be waiting. What? What? Did you just call the professor or something? No, 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 no. He actually has a private workshop in town. He has all the latest technology at his disposal, so I know he can figure out something about that thing. Wow, he really must be a genius. Wait, then who did you call? His granddaughter. She works here at the factory. I'm sure the child will be happy to show you the way. The child? Um, excuse me. Oh, Tira! Huh? What? You? Oh, Estelle and Joshua. You mean that you know each other? Yeah, we only just met a little while ago though. So then I guess that she's the professor granddaughter? Exactly. Tita, I've been talking with Estelle and Joshua here. I like you for I like for you to show them the way to your house. See grandpa? Okay, I will. 
I appreciate it. Ah yes, if you learn anything new, I love it if you came back and told me. As an engineer, I am extremely curious to know more about this. Haha, <laughs> sure thing. If you'll excuse us then. Hey, I didn't think you'd be coming. And you're even the granddaughter of, a, of the famous professor. It's no wonder you're so comfor comfortable with Orpmans. <laughs> Aw, come on. I'm still just studying under my grandpa. Aww. Oh, by the way, do you bracers have business with my grandpa? Well, sort of. The situation is kind of complicated. We can explain everything once we see your grandfather. Oh, okay. Um, my house is in the southwest corner of town. Get off the escalator and go straight until you reach the south entrance. Then turn to the west and there it is. Jesus, fuck. Got it. Well, let's get moving. <laughs> so southwest. If you don't know where southwest is, blame your cartographer. <laughs> Hang on. Before we do any of that, I want to fight that monster. You have EP cut too? Fuck you. <laughs> I mean, sorry, Tita. I just can't believe you have EP cut too. <laughs> Hang on, so that means I can just... Eric. Sweet. so bad we have more healer god damn it you only accept w what space maybe you can buy this but I don't have any more separate I mean, she is a long range. Having a range attack can be good. Okay, I think we're good. So far. Where's the inn? So that's the house, southwestern. Alright, cool. So, where is Strat? There you are. This way goes to the plains road. Oh my god. My house is to the southwest. Tita! <laughs> Fine. I'm going to save. There it is. Is this? Hi, Tita. You real finished with school? Don't be silly, Tita. Sunday school isn't today. Oh, it wasn't? Tita, dear, you need to rest. And you can come to school sometime too. Everybody wants to see you again. Okay, I've just been really busy lately. I'll come back as soon as I can. That's a promise, right? Yes. Oh, okay, this is the house. My god. I figured, I was like, there's no way her house is this small. She's a fucking professor's daughter. Granddaughter. <laughs> this is my house. Wow, nice place. Professor Russell is here? No, I think he's in the workshop. 
through this door. We should go and say hi then. Uh. I'm home, Grandpa. Mm. Okay, maybe this way. Um. <gasps> huh? Okay, uh, so this is the professor? <laughs> nice to um, meet you. My name is Estelle Bright of the Bracer Guild. We actually came to get your expert opinion on... <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> um... Got it! Eek. <laughs> I did it, it's finally complete. That's right, who's the man? I'm the man. Yes, I should start testing it at once. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I'm sorry, Estelle. Grandpa kinda goes into a trance when he's working and he doesn't really notice what's going on around him. And I think he's just finished up the device he's been working on for the past few days. Ah, I see. He really is something. Oh, he's something, alright. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> no, don't be embarrassed. That's adorable. Grandpa! There are some people here who need to talk to you. Hmm? Oh, Tito, you've come at the right time. I need your help com with compiling the data from the from these tests. Um, but Grandpa, this new invention will actually block a biosensor orbman's de detection fac faculties. It emits a unique orbital force field that deflects the, the energy that a biosensor sends out when it scans. Oh, really? Yes, really. Since when do I overstate my own accomplishments? Now, come on, we got testing to do. Right. <laughs> Professor Russell and Tito begin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hey now. Never mind, Estelle. I think we should just let them be. <laughs> hey, you with the black hair. Who, me? Who else? On the upstairs bookcase is a notebook titled Orbital Energy as Applied to Force Field. Go get it! <laughs> Go on, be quick about it. Alright. <laughs> and then just do it. Hey, young lady. You with the antenna hair. <clears throat> Antenna? <laughs> oh no, you didn't! Quit farting around and make some coffee. Wow! Why should I have to make you coffee? I think it's black, by the way. <laughs> I want it clear as mud. You're not hearing a word I say. Ugh, fine, whatever. <laughs> oh god, poor guy. Poor girl. Yep, perfect. All set, Grandpa. Just as fast as ever. Oh, you're cute. Oh. Um, where are Estelle and Joshua? Who? Come to think of it, I do vaguely recall a couple of young folks. <laughs> Murdoch sent along some fresh faces then, I presume? Grandpa! Oh gee, Chan! And so, Estelle and Joshua inadvertently... Yeah, 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 whatever. Haha, <laughs> sorry about all that. I just assumed you were both new employees at the Central Factory. Nope. So it's only natural that you wound up being drafted as assistants. Uh, this is no laughing matter, <laughs> especially since the only thing you had me helping with was making coffee. Girls can bang metal parts together too, old man. <laughs> Relax Estella, we get some valuable experience out of the deal in the end. <laughs> How often does one get pr to participate in startup tests on a brand new type of orbman after all? Well now, you're a right lad then, aren't you? Want to give up the, this bracer nonsense and start up in the field of orbital engineering? <laughs> Grandpa, I'm really sorry you guys. I guess I got caught up in the moment too. You don't need to apologize, sweetie. Aww. But I thought the father of the orbital revolution was going to be some really amazing man. <laughs> Not some old fart with attention deficit issues. Well, <laughs> please, you're too kind. That was not a compliment. <laughs> Moving on, so I'm being paid visit by the children of Cassius. That's quite a, the surprise. So you really do know our dad? Yes, from way back then. When? I've known him since his army days, some 20 years or so. I met him too. He had a really nice mustache, right? <laughs> well, I don't know if I call it nice, so much as suspicious looking. 
But if he's known dad for that long, it looks like we'll be safe in trusting you know what with Professor Russell after all. Yes, I have to agree. Hmm? What are you talking about? What was it you wanted to help? You wanted my help with? Well, yada 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 yada. Check this shit out. I see. Wow, pitch black orpman. Yes, most intriguing. And with no inscribed caliber or seams. Look at this frame. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what are you doing? He's it's a special alloy steel cutter. Hmm. Just as I thought. Here, take a look. Okay. Estelle, Joshua and Tier yeah yeah yeah. Huh? There's not even a scratch. The frame is made from some type of metal that I've never before encountered. Opening it up for a closer look is going to be quite the task, I think. That's just crazy. If we can't just if we can't find some way to open it, then we'll be right back to square one. Well, I can certainly speed some time as to trying. But first, I think maybe we we should put it under something. The huge piece of equipment you saw when we were working on the new experiment can gauge orbital energy and activity in real time. You're making my head hurt with your techno babble. Just tell me what using that thing will accomplish. <laughs> to put in layman's term, it'll allow us to see just what this orpman does. We won't be able to draw any definitive conclusions just from measuring what kind of orbital activity is occurring, but it's a start. That should you give us major clue. Indeed. So without further ado, Grandpa, should we have lunch first? Sure. Estelle, Joshua, you're both welcome to join us. I can't promise it'll be anything special, but sounds great to me. We'll even help with prep. Alright, come on then. I got a bit to do while lunch is prepared. No, I want to see it too. No fair working when I'm not around. <laughs> my house, my rules. <laughs> what is up with these two? Now I see where she gets it. I oh, know, so adorable. Ahem. <clears throat> now, if everyone is ready, let's get this started. Estelle, if you'll put or the Orpman on the stand... Okay. Like this? Yes, thank you. Are you ready, Tita? All set. No, he said, are you ready? <laughs> oh, God. Actually, hang on one second. All set. Good, good. Now, commencing orbital force measurement to that test on the Black Orpman. Black Orpman, so that's going to be uh, the official name after all. But using it officially is so boring and simple. Why not something cool like Dark Thingy of Impending Doom? <laughs> no, no, simple is best. Anything longer than Black Orpman would just be annoying to say. Fidget, fidget. <laughs> oh, look at her, she's all anxious to start. Huh? Oh. <laughs> Alright, let's begin. Tida, if you'll activate the scanner, please. Okay. I think it's gonna black out the whole area. Output set at 45. If you guys, because if you remember uh, what happened with the mayor, it shuts down the uh, artifact, right? Put all measuring equipment on standby. Roger. Done. All measuring equipment is calibrated. Okay, from here on out, it's the real deal. Since no direct input or output was detected, all we can do is to measure how is measure how the central crystal circuit responds. Now let's see just how much this contraption is really worth. You're sure in a good mood, old man. And click. Neat. It's all glowing and stuff. <laughs> I get it. It's putting a major strain on the crystal circuit. There, there. Tida, any reading? Yes. But they're kind of weird. Hmm? The taco meter needles shaking like crazy. Ah! Now it's spinning around the dial. Wow. Dun, 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 dun. Eek! What? What's going on here? Joshua! It's the same black light from before. What? Yep. Do 
This is a pretty much a preview of what happens in second game. I won't tell you what happened. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Grandpa, it won't take much more of this. We have to shut it down. Don't you dare. Just a little longer and we'll have something. Wait a second, all the lights in town are going out. Huh? What in... Ah, we have no choice then. Terminating the experiment. Oh, they're back on. Phew. Let's see the readout. Nothing, it didn't record anything. And the only thing that kept working was the scanner on which the Black Orpman sat. But even that, well... As for everything else... Good. It looks like the experiment's finished. How is it outside? Fine, all the lights are back like nothing happened. There's still a lot of people panicking though. Okay. But just what the hell was all that? That was what I would dub as... The uh, Orbal Shutdown Phenomenon. The what now? You mean how everything inside all, all of the Orpmans just stopped working at once? So the Black Orpman did this? Yes, no doubt. But I would never dare have dared to guess that what it, that its effect would be so extensive. Hmm, there's definitely more to this than I expected. Interesting. Most, in most interesting indeed. Only you would think causing a blackout over an entire city is interesting. Professor! Oh, Murdoch, just the man I wanted to see. The feeling is not mutual. Every single time you invent something, it means trouble for me. <laughs> what the hell were you up to that would cause all of the powers downtown to go out? How rude. It's not even my fault this time. See that there? That's the Black Orpman and it caused this. Is that the... Okay, I get it. If that's the root of this, then it's genuine and extenuating circumstances. But it still means that it was your fault. Ah, nuts. You got me. <laughs> that's it? They're just okay again? Are they always like this? <laughs> this is so embarrassing. Ah, uh, and so the first day in Zeiss kept everyone busy. Due to how late it was, Estelle and Joshua stay at the lab for the night. <laughs> Man, yesterday was such a crazy day. I was surprised enough at the town, but I really wasn't expecting to deal with anything like that. <laughs> no kidding. But back on the subject of the Black Orpman, it much more it's much more powerful than I ever imagined impossible. Yeah. What's the professor gonna do now that his equipment gone all kerflui? Good morning guys. Morning Tita. Good morning, quite a big day yesterday. <laughs> no kidding. Did you guys sleep okay? Yep, like babies. Is the professor already up? Oh, he left for the central factory early this morning. He said something about how he was going to expose all the Black Orpman secret. <laughs> wow, looks like he's get it looks like getting roar at over and over by the factory chief yesterday didn't even put a dent in him. <laughs> we really appreciate both of you taking the time to just look over something a couple of relative strangers brought you. Oh, it's fine, really. Grandpa is investigating it, is investigating it out of pure curiosity more than anything. I should go to the factory myself once I'm done with breakfast. What do you plan to do? Naturally, we'll be coming with you. I want to know what's really going on with that Orpman too. Maybe there's something we can do to help. Yay, then you can come with me. Uh-oh, I almost forgot about the soup. Just a second, you two. I'll bring you breakfast as soon as I make sure it's edible and not on fire. <laughs> I guess that's what that smell is, but man, what a cutie. I wish we could take her back with us to Roland. She could be like a pet cheering us up whenever we're feeling down. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that's kind of creepy, Estelle. And now that we had got, we had a good breakfast. Off to the central factory. Before we do that, I'd like to check in at the guild. I, I think it might be best to report on what happened yesterday, just to be on the safe side. Well, okay. Hey, Tita, would you mind if we stop by there on our way? 
Sure, go ahead. Ba, 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 ba. And I'm gonna end the part here. <laughs> no. Alright, I'm gonna end the part here. So thank you all so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you guys very, very soon. Stay tuned and stay safe. Later.